The mountain held the town as in a shadow. I saw so much before I slept there once. I noticed that I missed stars in the west where its black body cut into the sky. Near me, it seemed, I felt it like a wall behind which I was sheltered from a wind. And yet between the town and it, I found, when I walked forth at dawn to see new things, were fields, a river, and beyond more fields. The river at the time was fallen away and made a widespread brawl on cobblestones, but the signs showed what it had done in spring. Good grassland gullied out, and in the grass ridges of sand and driftwood stripped of bark. I crossed the river and swung round the mountain. What town is this? This? Lunenburg. And I was wrong. The town of my sojourn beyond the bridge was not that of the mountain, but only felt at night its shadowy presence. Where is your village? Very far from here? There's no village. Only scattered farms. We were about 60 voters last election. We can't in nature grow them anymore. That thing takes all the room. He moved his goad. The mountain stood there to be pointed at. Pasture ran up the side a little way, and then there was a wall of trees with trunks. After that, only tops of trees and cliffs and perfectly concealed among the leaves. A dry ravine emerged from under boughs into the pasture. That looks like a path. Is that the way to reach the top from here? Not for this morning, but some other time. We must be getting back to breakfast now. I don't advise your trying from this side. There's no proper path. But those that have been up, I understand, have climbed from lads. That's five miles back. You can't mistake the place. They logged it there last winter, some way up. I take you, but I'm bound the other way. You've never climbed it? Oh, I've been on the sides, deer hunting and trout fishing. There's a brook that starts up on it somewhere. I've heard say right on the top, tip top. Curious thing. But what would interest you about the brook... It's always cold in summer, warm in winter. One of the great sights going is to see it steam in winter like an ox's breath until the bushes all along its banks are inch deep with the frosty spines and bristles. You know the kind. Then let the sun shine on it. But there ought to be a view around the world from such a mountain if it isn't wooded clear to the top. Soft and leafy screens, great granite terraces and sun and shadow. Shelves one could rest a knee on getting up, with depths behind him sheer a hundred feet. Or turn and sit on and look out and down, with little ferns and crevices at his elbow. Oh, as to that I can't say. But there's the spring right on the summit, almost like a fountain. That ought to be worth seeing. If it's there. You never saw it? Oh, I guess there's no doubt about its being there. I never saw it. It may not be right on the very top. It wouldn't have to be a long way down to have some head of water from above and a good distance down. It might not be noticed by anyone who'd come a long way up. One time I asked a fellow climbing it to look and tell me later how it was. What did he say? Uh, he said there was a lake somewhere in Ireland on a mountaintop. But a lake's different. What about the spring? Oh, he never got up high enough to see. That's why I don't advise you trying this side. He tried this side. I've always meant to go and look myself, but you know how it is. It doesn't seem so much to climb a mountain you've worked around the foot of all your life. What would I do? Go in my overalls with a big stick? Same as when the cows haven't come down to the bars at milking time? With a shotgun for a stray black bear? It wouldn't seem real to climb for climbing it. I shouldn't climb it if I didn't want to, not for the sake of climbing. What's its name? We call it Haw. I don't know if that's right. Can one walk around it? Would it be too far? Oh, you can drive around and keep in Lundenberg, but as much as ever you can do. The boundary lines keep in so close to it. Haw is the township, and, and the township's Haw. And a few houses sprinkled round the foot like boulders, broken off the upper cliff, rolled out a little farther than the rest. Hmm. Warm in December, cold in June, you say? Oh, I don't suppose the water's changed at all. You and I know enough to know it's warm compared with cold and cold compared with warm. But all the fun's in how you say a thing. You've lived here all your life? Oh, ever since Hoa was no bigger than a 